Hello everybody, um, just giving you a little quick update here with my flip cam of my timer that I bought here a while back for my T3i. Um, haven't had I made much use to use it here lately. I did go ahead and shot a handful of little photos of me putting my tiny mini little Christmas tree together with it. So don't know how they turned out. Um, didn't have it, the camera set in the right settings like I was hoping for, so they're not nearly as good as I was wanting. Um, not really sure. Let's see here. Yeah, we can get a little bit of the view here. What we have on the screen right now is mode, so it's saying it's going to keep taking pictures. And maybe I can see this. It's set up to take pictures every 10 seconds. So I can go to the next mode. It'll just continually loop through. The next mode is I've got it set for 99 photos. I have it set at 99 photos because most of the stuff I'm doing, I'm not setting up for like a 10 minute time frame or a two hour time frame, whatever. It's just while something's happening, whether it be a sunset, whether it be whatever. I'm a big fan of sitting on 99. Rarely ever do I take all the photos. But I can walk back over and I can hit stop real quick and it goes ahead and shuts itself off right away. So I'd much rather have to come back over here and turn it off than have it shut off as something cool starts to happen. So this in here is actually the start timer. You set this up to when do you want your first photo to be taken. So it's really nice if you want to do like self portraits, that kind of thing. So say you got a bunch of friends or even you're by yourself on a trip somewhere, find a cool photo, um, lay your hat, lay something in the spot to get your focus where you want it. Or even just if you trust your autofocus in your camera, you can go that route. I'm not a big fan of autofocus, but you can pull it that way. Then go ahead and set that for up to 99 hours, I believe is how far it'll go out. It's ridiculous length of time. And that's when it'll take the first photo. And then if you have it set up for every 10 seconds, it'll continue to take every 10 seconds. So let's say there's something you're wanting to do. It's going to take you, say, a minute to get over there. You can start the photos in one minute and then take, say, 10 photos every 10 seconds. You can change this from as little as one second or as fast as your camera will allow you. If you're running a lower end camera with a slower burst um, shot or refresh rate on it, it might not be able to go that fast. All the way up to, again, 99 hours between photos. So it would be something if you're doing some real slow long-term photos. Say you're having a new garage built or there's a new building in town that you have permission or you have a safe spot you can put your camera you can set this thing up take a photo every hour every 24 hours every whatever and then watch that whole construction come together so it's kind of a neat little setup it also does have the little button right here in the front which will actually allow you just to um, push to take the photo so you can just kind of if you're doing a handheld and let's say you're walking or you're trying to get a shot so you're you're using your um self if you don't have a I guess assistant there to hold your you know reflectors or whatever you can take this with you it does have to be plugged in so you can't get too far away but the cord is I'm gonna guess four feet five feet somewhere in that ballpark range so you can get within that range of your camera including yourself if you want to do an up close portrait um, this also does have um, a backlit which you can see that light right there, the little green come on. So if you're out in pitch darkness or almost pitch darkness, it does work great for that. So if you're doing a lot of night photos. Um, the biggest problem I have with it is, as you can see, there's a bunch of tape here on the bottom. The um, battery door itself does not stay shut. That right there was a big problem. Spoke to the um, seller on eBay, and he sent me a free um, lens hood to make up for the fact that I gotta have tape on there. The biggest concern I have right now, besides the fact it's kinda ugly, not a big deal, most people aren't looking at my timer, um, is the fact that I don't get to take the battery out as easily now, because I was finally taking the battery out, flipping it over every time I got done using it, just to save the battery. So, luckily these button batteries is what it is. They last a really long time. This thing is not taking much juice, and they're fairly cheap. So, the one thing I did, almost I guess for to show you guys, the little arm here on the side is the little switch to change the time so basically if I go in here to mode and I can basically flip that up and down that's what actually gives me my set so if I want to change how many photos I'm taking at a time you just push that in directly in and then see how it starts to flash there let's see if we can get there flashing and then you can go up or down if I go up goes back to zero goes back to 98 97 96 I'm going to go ahead and set that back up there to 99, and then you push it back in. Just push in is what makes it flash or for preparing it for setting, and then turn it off. 
push it back in again. So the one nice thing about it's got a pretty long cord. I do usually just droop it over top of my um, like one of the arms there on my tripod works out great except on really super windy days that's when i noticed that it was banging up against stuff so i do recommend on windy days to go ahead and actually kind of prop it around somewhere a little bit better so not get blown around or even grab yourself an extra rubber band hook it up with the rubber band and then make sure it's going to stay tight so the other nice thing it does do when you're taking photos the timer when you have it set on the 10 seconds or minute or however long it is it will actually show the countdown so you'll know you're three seconds away two seconds away something like that so let's say there's some changes you want to make to it you could go ahead and actually look see what the changes are how long you got between the next shot make your change real quick or even walk in front of your camera do whatever you need to do so that's what i got at the moment right there hope you guys found this helpful and have yourself a safe and wonderful day